Hello, this is how to install the XRDP Remote Desktop Protocol Server on Fedora KDE 43. This is a fresh installation of Fedora KDE 43. Let's see if uh, we have the X11 KDE Plasma session installed. Because uh, the XRDP RDP server is actually an X11 server, so it will need a valid uh, KDE Plasma X11 session. In uh, SDDM, there's no session that can be selected. That means that there's just one session, either just the X11 KDE Plasma session or the Wayland KDE Plasma session. We can find that out, for instance, in the KDE Plasma System Settings application about this system, and it says Wayland. So as a first step, we must see the KDE Plasma X11 session in SDDM. These are my notes and mariusp.github.io, and then the first link in here for XRDP and Remote Desktop Protocol. Search for Fedora and says that there's a package named Plasma Workspace X11. Let's search for it, maybe the name has changed. So Plasma Workspace X11, the same name for the package, and has been so since KD, Fedora KD version 40. Let's see what it does. The KWIN uh, upstream uh, project has been split in two. There's KWIN X11 and KWIN Wayland, two different binaries executables. And uh, usually these are packaged in two different binary packages by most Linux operating systems. So KWIN X11 has its own RPM package in Fedora. So the list of packages to install seem OK. Next up, again, we're going to log out, go to SDDM, the desktop manager, and make sure that now we can select the X11 session there. And now we have a um, desktop session selector. There's just one uh, Wayland session, which is the KD Plasma one. There's just one X11 session for KD Plasma. Next up, we need to install the RDP packages, RPM packages, so XRDP and XORG XRDP. And then we're going to enable the system D service, and we also need to edit a bit the configuration file. Usually, I um, when I install Fedora KD, I enable the SSH server such that I can run all of these commands using the SSH protocol in an SSH connection. Let's actually see if we can connect via SSH. So 247. And we can. It's really important after you install the XRDP RDP server, you actually want to restart the computer such that no users are connected to the graphical session. 
Linux because um, you cannot really log into KDE Plasma both from the physical uh, terminal, from the physical connection, from the physical mouse and keyboard and um, screen. In the case of virtual machines, using the um, graphical console from the virtualization software. And you cannot at the same time be connected uh, using the Modesto protocol using the same uh, user. I hear that this is a limitation about systemd, which does not exist on FreeBSD, but don't quote me on these things. So it's important to actually not be connected. If possible. Okay, so let's install the two RPM packages. Yes. And now we'll need to edit the xrdp.ini file, which is unfortunate. This is a limitation in um, Fedora Linux. It's actually Fedora Linux, one of the few Linux operating systems, the family of Linux operating systems, Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, force you to actually edit the configuration file for the XRDP server. Most other Linux operating system families such as Debian, Ubuntu, Arch, etc. OpenSUSE SUSE don't force you to edit this file. This file is pre-edited -edit correctly. So what it is, is uh, that uh, XRDP has uh, various backends that you can select to. There's a um, login manager and in that login manager, you can select it from different backends. And the X11 backend is not enabled by default. So let's see if that's still the case. Again, um, something that works way worse on Fedora Linux family of Linux operating systems versus the other families of Linux operating systems. So this is it. This is an INI file, the extension.ini, contains sections and uh, the entire section titled XORG with an uppercase X needs to be commented, uncommented. So it's commented out. And you need to uncomment the entire section. So this section. It's important that this section is the first xorg because we're only using it but it also needs to be enabled by again uncommenting out the lines Control x y enter next up we can start the xrdp server but i'm also going to restart the computer While the operating system is starting, let's prepare the command line as a um, remote desktop protocol client application because my host computer is Kubuntu 25.04. I'm using the X3 RDP application. So let's copy paste the command line and edit it a bit. First of all, we want the correct IPv4 address, which ends in 247. So 
So let's look at the command line, xfreerdp or wlfreerdp, depending if you're on Wayland or on X. There are other remote desktop protocol clients. There's uh, Remina, the GTK graphical user interface application. There's um, the built-in remote desktop protocol client in all Windows operating systems. There's um, RDC Man, Remote Desktop Connection Manager from uh, Microsoft System Internal Suite. Uh, there's an application from Microsoft for Android, etc. So it says that the sound should be played back, taken from the RDP server, played back on the machine where the RDP client application runs. We want the best performance possible. And we want the best speed possible because we run the same machine, it's just a virtual machine. And um, we want the resolution inside the KD Plasma, inside of Fedora KD 43, to change automatically depending on the size of the X3 RDP window. Trust the certificate, yes. And this is the list of uh, backends. There's just XVNC and XORG. By default, there's just uh, XVNC, but we've commented out the XORG one, and it's the first in the list before the XVNC session. So the way it looks right now, it's configured correctly. Username, password, this is probably a bug, the fact that lowercase u, lowercase p. Again, make sure that uh, you're not connected to this Fedora machine in graphical user interface mode using KD Plasma using the exact same user. So in my case, the user is named administrator and uh, there didn't exist any KD Plasma session for this user. Okay, this is the feature dynamic resolution. When I resize the FreeRDP window, this, uh, the size of the content of the RDP window is computed and uh, via remote test protocol, XFreeRDP tells the RDP server, XRDP, to change the resolution in KD Plasma. Such that there's no stretching, that um, subpixel anti-aliasing of fonts works correctly, etc. So this is the current resolution. The entire screen is 1080p, and this is less than half of the screen. because some of the space is taken by the window title bar and by the KD Plasma main panel. Let's see if copy-paste of text works. works from the RDP client to the RDP server and uh, vice versa from the RDP client machine to the RDP server machine. These are the two important features that I always want when I connect to a computer that copy paste of text works and uh, that uh, if I resize the RDP client window either the resolution automatically changes or there's a possibility or a very simple possibility, maybe a button, maybe a main menu item in the remote desktop protocol client application to change the resolution of the operating system that we can see inside the RDP client window. And then I want zero bugs. I want um, correct painting. So the image should look very, very pixel perfect. 
and everything should be as fast as possible and it's extremely snappy as you can see there's no difference between running on the same applications on the host machine versus running them in an RDP connection which allows me to for instance do my job and program and develop etc using graphical user interface application tools so this was it this was how to install the XRDP server on Fedora KD43 these are the exact same instructions that existed for the last four versions of uh, Fedora KD. So starting from Fedora KD40 and we're now at Fedora KD43. Thank you.